Hello. I think I'm here alone right now. All right, so I'll just um, give it a little time. Let's see if anybody shows up in the chats. I gotta fix my hair. I have time. <laughs> Just watch myself fix my hair. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm a little too prepared. I have nothing to do. <laughs> Except wait. Fix my hair. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of advertising this week. I just did not have the energy, unfortunately. I'm going to go to Instagram here in a second. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop on to Instagram. And get my eye on the chat. I just posted in the wrong group. That was smart. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, hello, Randy. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, Angela. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, shoo. <laughs> I was so worried. It's been a while that I've had a sale. I'm sure people are not expecting me to have one today. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you for coming. <laughs> so do I ask, um, how's the weather where you are? <laughs> it's like finally warming up here. Hi, Sue. Thank you for coming. Oh, okay, Angela. Thank you. Yeah, it's isn't it kind of weird when you go to like search for somebody's live sale and you know they've put, you know, the little thing out and you, you can't find it. You go to search and you can't find it on their page. You, I've tried googling the per person's name and it doesn't come up that way either. Not googling, but searching on YouTube. So I did this thing with my hair last night. I put it in a wrap when it was wet, thinking I'd have these curls <laughs> this morning. And I don't know if you guys have seen the episode of Friends where Monica like goes on a tropical vacation and her hair is just like, Phew. it's pretty much what happened with my hair this morning. So uh, it just kind of, <laughs> that was kind of fun. But Hi, Chicago lady. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hi, Jan. Hi, Sam. Oh, yay. Good to see you here. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Like I was just saying, I haven't had a sale in a while, so I know it's people are probably like, is she still selling anything? <laughs> Hi, Kim. I'm good, thank you. How are you? It probably seems weird I look off to the side, but it comes up faster on my phone than it does in my stream yard. Remember her seashell beads. Seashell beads. Seashell beads. Why am I blanking on seashell beads? 
<laughs> Background here to get caught up. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I will do the, you know, the rundown. We all, I know that everyone here knows this already, but name, YouTube name, PayPal, email, shipping address. <laughs> If you happen to buy today, just get that spiel right out of the way <laughs> because everybody's heard it a million times. Um, I am shipping from Maine. Um, I, I take the next day to invoice and I usually get it done in one day. Um, if something happens, it might be a Saturday, but um, I like to pay for things. I'm uh, not pay for things. I'm sorry. Invoice things and then if they're paid for over the weekend, I can ship them out on Monday. And it's it feels really great to just get those out the door on Monday. So that's how I how I do it. Hi, Jen. Thanks for coming. Yay. <laughs> that was hilarious. I had a similar story, but my hair trimmed orange, neon, a tropical vacation. So I got cornrows to minimize the damage. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, my gosh ever since um like you know the hair thinning that a lot of people have been going through I don't know how to handle my hair anymore it's just like really 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 curly but if it's not maintained it's just like poof. and if, if I straighten it it's I hate to straighten it because my hair is already really thin right now so I really don't know how to handle my hair at the moment and no matter what it's still always doing this so <laughs> Um, a lot of my items today are going to be um, offer ups just because I'm here by myself. So yeah, I feel like I have a little bit more time and um, I'm trying to still, I'm still trying to figure out what's more desirable and what's less desirable. So it's easier for me to, um, to do that with offer ups, I feel like. Um, and you know me when I usually get an offer up, unless there's several, I do try to get through it rather quickly. So um <clears throat> I do have about 13 people here, so I'm going to go ahead and get going. Um, I feel like there's more spiel to be said, but I'm going to be laid back today. <laughs> just, just relax and have fun with this since, it, since it's been such a long time. So um, I'm going to show you something that's kind of unusual for me, um, but I didn't know if there was any interest. And this is going to be um, an offer up starting at only at $6. Um, and it is, did I miss anybody? If I miss anybody, I apologize. Um, it is a Fisher Price stove, stove top. Um, I cleaned it as well as I could, but you know, things with this age definitely, uh, don't come out perfect. It does not have the salt and pepper, which will go right in there. I'm guessing you could replace it, but, um, has a little timer. It does work. Oh, oh. I was playing with it earlier. I got the timer to work, but yeah, the little timer works. Hi, Marianne. Thanks for coming. And it has little burners and the little dialy things to make the, the burner red. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw this in the mix. I don't know if anybody's into the Fisher Price or wants to resell Fisher Price, but, or refurbishes Fisher Price, which would be really cool, actually. Um, there's the backside. Not very exciting. Um, and I don't know if there's a date. My eyesight's not what it used to be. Oh gosh. 1978. 1978. So this was made when I was three. <laughs> and I actually really, really wanted one of these. This is like an endearing story, but I really, really wanted one of these. And it, it just wasn't a possibility at that time. So my mom took a cardboard box and she drew burners on it and stuff and like made the cardboard box into a little stove top and oven. And I, I did later on like get the fake, fake food. Um, and I, I didn't want this anymore. I wanted the cardboard box. I liked it better. <laughs> so I have kind of a fond and unusual memory about this, but the simple things sometimes are just better. <laughs> but anyway, oh, it is Kim. I agree. It's one of my, literally still one of my favorite childhood toys is that, that box with spirals drawn on it. Uh, Thank you. So I'm going to set that aside. I, I didn't really think this would have much interest, but I thought I'd give it a shot because it was kind of a fun find where Fisher Price is um, kind of getting trendy again right now. 
Um, and here's another item I wasn't sure about. So again, I'm just going to throw this one out here really quick. This is a $5 offer up. No, it's not a $5 offer up. This is $5 straight. Uh, it's new in package. I'm not sure how old this is, um, but it is, seems to be new old stock, some wedding paper. Gosh, I'm not showing this very well. Wedding wishes. Oh, here. And I just think it's fun for our, well, journaling, but I mean, I, I like the idea of giving somebody a wedding gift in, in vintage wrapping paper because it's, you know, part of your personality, I think, for a lot of us in this community. So this was $5 and it's number one. $5 number one for the vintage wedding wishes um, wrapping paper. I like the colors too. I love old wrapping paper. <laughs> if I could have like a, just like a file cabinet and just like look through it every once in a while, it's just, it makes me smile. And so that's one reason I couldn't leave it. I mean, I see, I do see the original price. I do see the barcode <laughs> if anybody's wondering, but I, I, again, I'm not sure if this is, it looks vintage to me, it appears vintage. I'm going to set that aside. And we are going to move on to something more interesting, in my opinion. <laughs> I have this little guy, Clown Art. This is an $8 offer up. And put that in the chat. Um, wow, I've, I'm, I'm out of a... Uh, it's like, where's the dollar sign? <laughs> Here we go. All right. So this is a, what is his name? It is an artist made, his name is Ron Lee, and it's a metal clown. Offer up, uh, yeah, start at eight, like I said, sorry. Yep, out of practice. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can get my face out of here. Camera, that's a face. I'm gonna focus on that one. There we go. So his little tie is blowing in the wind and the umbrella is, well, he's obviously outside in the rain, but um, I just thought it was interesting. Um, these did go on like a, the artist who made these usually put them on like a uh, piece of quartz or a piece of um, amethyst, like the, the points, amethyst points. So he usually had these on stones. He's quite heavy, actually. He's probably he's probably close to a pound, I would say, for his size. He's so pretty heavy. So I just thought he was really cool and interesting. But I know clowns aren't. All... Is he a clown? Well, yeah, he's got the red nose, right? <laughs> and he's got these little divots in his feet too, so. He is really heavy. <laughs> it's it's like he's deceptively heavy for his size. So that he's really interesting. So I'm gonna set him aside. <clears throat> and let's see. Um, I have some pottery. It is going to start at 10. really nice actually and I'm not a clown person yeah same here like like I'm not I don't have an aversion to clowns but I don't have a like a, an affinity for clowns either but I thought it was pretty interesting he's styling <laughs> um, yeah okay so this starts at 10 I'm trying to get the sticker off here and it's studio pottery and it's this really nice shade of blue and green kind of you know oceany colors and they, these actually remind me a little fish swimming around in the bottom to be honest with you, I think it's really sweet. Actually make a cute little um, water bowl for your cat. <laughs> and it has a major drip right there, which I actually like. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Um, and so there's like that, that shade of blue and then like a teal. And then it is signed um, on the bottom here. I tried to find that symbol and I could not find it anywhere. Kind of looks like a clover, like a or shamrock, 
but it could be an R. I'm not really sure. Again, I like this big drip. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like the only like flaw, but I think it's cool looking. So I don't know if this really do, does this does this matter if I do this? I'm not sure. Why not? <laughs> I just like these, uh, finding these. I can't really put down a piece of pottery that's that's a good price. It's really pretty. So I am going to set that aside. Still learning to put the things up on the screen. <clears throat> um, let's see. Up next, I have. Oh my gosh, it's way over here. <laughs> this is starting at 12. And again, guys, um, never worry about this. If it sells at the start price, I'm good with that too. <laughs> so um, not if that's anybody's concern or not. But uh, anyway, thank you. I appreciate that. So let me just get the sticker. This is a George Briard. I, th I think it's a dip bowl. This is going to be sort of difficult to show, but we'll do our best here. Um, what will it focus on? There we go. There's a signature while well, I've got it focused. And these are called Jacobian flowers. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they're these exaggerated, really fun, whimsical flowers. And I've always loved those. And he uses them quite a bit in his patterns. I'm a huge Briard, Briard, blah, 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 Briard fan, and I'm actually surprised I'm, I'm selling this, but I, I just don't have a place for it. And I figured when I do, then I can go back and buy from resellers my Briard stuff, <laughs> or their Briard stuff, I should say. So I just thought it was fun with the, the gold theme, and I love, I love the Jacobian floors. I don't know what it is, but. And of course, it doesn't have to be a dip bowl. It can be whatever you want it to be. And it, it also pairs, I want to say it pairs nicely with a lot of his other platters and things. If you notice his um, pattern, they do really go well together. So, all right, I'm going to set this aside. <clears throat> Oops. And let's move on to some kitschy things. This is an, uh, starting at eight. Um, and it is a pair of wide-eyed owl salt and pepper shakers. I always like to do one at a time just because it's easier to get the detail. But I love the face. <laughs> it's that glare. From the ring light there he is there are little bits of wear on is it him yes up here up here i don't want to say chips because it's more it's like a chip in the paint almost but there's a couple spots like that on him and they are march japan on the bottom he has a stopper so this one guy and here's the other guy. <laughs> they have seen some things. And they look the same. And they both have the stopper. This one has a piece of tape over it because the stopper is loose. So, but um, so I don't know what the lag is like either. So <laughs> they are cute. I think they'd just be fun sitting up on a shelf where you're not going to see the little the little. Pro Actually, I mean they could be easily touched up too. But yeah, they're really fun. I think they're really cute, really kitschy, great for fall. <laughs> I just love the looks on their faces. <laughs> All right. And moving on, let's see. Let's stick them in that Briard bowl carefully. All right, so this is starting at, okay, this also starts at eight, so I'm just going to leave this on the screen. <laughs> okay. This starts at eight, and it is a piece of dragonware. It's a little pitcher. 
Now there are pieces appearing to be missing from it. I think that's kind of par for the course with Dragonware since the way it's applied and the the uh, consistency of the material that they use to do this is it's easily chipped off. But I think up here there was probably something going on. But I like um, we'll focus again. this part. There we go. That's good. I like like the, the airbrushed stuff going on behind him. <laughs> really cool. And this is the other side. And the top has a Hi, Lori. Thanks for coming. And the top has a um, kind of a gold tone around the top. It's interesting because you usually see like um, like souvenir dragonware. So focus. I had it a minute ago. <laughs> there he goes. He's so cool. <laughs> Uh, I do too. I, I, I love Dragon Where I can't not snag it when I see it. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to get that off the screen. Wait, I think I can hit the space bar if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I learned that from Daniel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, where are we? What are you guys looking for today? What do you, what do you, what's, what are you excited about? <laughs> so I have a variety of things, so I, I don't want to bore you guys to be honest with you um i had another dragon thing but i'll skip that for now hi angel girl thanks for coming i have i'm gonna use this one this is starting at 10. start uh-oh 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 you guys one second okay i clicked a thing and it made my chat go away <laughs> Girly onions are pink. That's right. Okay, this is actually up that up that alley. Okay, so this was a start at ten. I said, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, start at ten. Okay, it is. I mean, you can call it a fairy lamp. Oh shoot, I forgot. The, I forgot the uh, little tea light to put in there. But it's definitely, definitely modern. Um, but I thought it was really sweet. So. <laughs> It's this, I mean, the candle goes there. Matter of fact, I'll just set that down for now. Um, so in the little nooks and crannies are these birds. <laughs> and then the heart cut out. And then more birds. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I thought it was really sweet. It'd be really, really cute at a wedding. More birds up in, up there. And then at the top... We have the bird who's ready to fly. There is some petal damage. Um, let's see. I know there is. Um, okay. Mostly from what I can see is this petal here, which might not focus, but it kind of ends abruptly here. I think D had something like that. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was really precious. Or like... You know, obviously, again, with with not a real candle, like in a nursery or just, I don't know, anything peaceful because all the little doves, I just thought it was really cute. And I hadn't seen one like this before. <laughs> definitely, um, it's egg shaped too, actually, but definitely not your typical like fairy lamp. <laughs> but it, it's, you know, the same effect, the light comes out. If you can picture it with a light coming about up and about around the birds, it was really, really cute. And of course, it goes on this little plate. So I am going to set that aside. And let's see. Um, 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 um that's loud. I have some, this is going to be also a $10 start. So I will just, uh, ready? 
Where did it go? Where's my $10 star? Did I type one in? I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll use this one. <laughs> start at $10. Um, that's an easier way to do things instead of typing it over and over again, just to use the old start <laughs> number. Okay, so I have some salt marsh pottery with, I, I think I brought this to another sale, but I can't remember already. And it has the thistle pattern on it. And for some reason, I've been finding thistle things a lot lately, which is interesting because I love thistles. So I don't know. I don't know if, thistle, if thistles mean anything if they keep coming into your path, but um, I just always really like them. I thought they were neat. They start off so prickly and stuff and they come out these beautiful, these beautiful colors. So here's the mark. So Marsh Pottery, Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And the hooks or the holes so you can hang a string and hang this up. And, oh, and it actually says thistle right there. So I, think I have also, hi, Cindy, thank you for coming. Um, I also have one when I do my estate sale sale, I'll have one with daffodils in it. So I may bring this, if this doesn't sell today, I may, may bring this to the estate sale sale alongside with it because I think, I don't know, I just think they look really nice together. They really do. I've been told that. <laughs> Thank you. That's a compliment. Um, and I've actually met Steven Tyler, and um, I wondered in the back of my head if he thought I was one of his <laughs> illegitimate and possibly children or something. <laughs> um, but he was super nice, by the way. Uh, very, very nice person. Great to his fans. I love Aerosmith, so... Um, and I love, I love, blah, 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 I love Liv Tyler's acting as well. So yeah, it's a big, big compliment. Thank you. <laughs> Corey equals Lori. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to set this aside. Um, how about a big glass cat? <laughs> this one starts at 16. So I'm going to have to type that one in real quick. Uh, start at 16. Not 166, Kathy, 16. <laughs> and take this off the screen. Oops. Uh-oh. Hide current comment. There we go. <laughs> Still learning, guys. Still learning. Um, and this is a mamma jamma of a <laughs> clear glass cat with two fish in his belly. There are bubbles in the glass. They are not controlled. But there are bubbles. Uh, I'm trying to get the fishies to focus a little better. But they're kind of like one in the back, one's in the front. And it is a big guy. It's a big cat. He's he's big. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Thanks for coming. Sorry, I didn't see you right away there. Glad to see you. Um, and let's see. Where's my ruler? Let me see my measurements on this guy. Um, he is, um, he's about just under nine inches tall. So <laughs> I'm not making any jokes. Um, I think he's a lot of fun. He's got pointy, pointy ears. I will say he does not have much of an expression on his face. But I think it's supposed to be all about this part, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> so he is a big cat. Uh, back when we first did the, our first Chatty Cathy's um, show with Picasso Cat Cathy, um, I had a smaller version of this. And I thought about bringing this one that night, but I wasn't sure. But anyway, it's hard to see with these stripes, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> so I'm going to set him aside. Oh, just the base in case anybody's interested. All righty. Let's see. <laughs> um, I have, this is going to be an $8 offer up. So start at eight. And it's one of those cobalt um, ashtrays. <laughs> it can be an ashtray, but I think it'd be a good toothpick holder too. Actually, I would use that for that. And I think it's great for the this time of year. We're getting into the 4th of July. It's Memorial Day weekend. Not that it's the same, 
quite the same type of celebration, but uh, great for 4th of July, absolutely. Display with little, like, little flags, the little too thick flags sticking out of here. Oh, wouldn't that be cute on your table? Oh, that, man, I want to do that now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've always liked these. I, I don't know, I can't resist when I come across them. And they are textured. Didn't try to see if it glowed, but I don't think it does. I just love the cobalt I always have. <clears throat> Ever since the 90s when it got big. <laughs> really fun. So again, it's hard to gauge the lag and I don't like to hold on to something too, too long if there's no interest. So I'm just, I'm just going to move on. And let's see, where can we go from here? Um, let me move some things around here a little bit. I shouldn't have put that way over there. Mm. <laughs> okay. So up next I have, this is actually a $16 offer up. Um, hi, Carrie Ann. Thank you for coming. And this, let me double check my information here. This is the Sunflower Costa Boda candle holder. And it's meant for one of your chunkier um, pillar candles. I, I think it's like a small pillar candle. Um, it's the Costa Boda is known for like their ice sculpture-y, really like fantasy looking. And when you put them together, it is so cool. There is a chip. It's double checking everywhere. Yeah, there is a chip and it's right here. And you're not going to be able to see it because it's clear glass, but it's right there. And I am going to file that down. And I'm also going to put a piece of tape over it if anybody's interested, still interested in this or interested at all. Uh, yeah, it really does. But so there is that that one that one issue with it. But other than that, like the thing, it's almost like it's like a finger vase almost. But you can see that it's the sunflower. I, I did some little bit of research anyway. And the, the pattern, of the sunflower in there. It looks actually really nice from above. This is something you'd walk by on a table and it would still look really nice. But um, it's like a, it's, it's like an award. Or like, it's making me think of um, Narnia, like the ice witch. <laughs> like she should be holding this. <laughs> yes, I was. Yeah, it was so cool. I was like, oh, there's 99. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, yay, I'm going to be the 100th subscriber. <laughs> go go uh, sub to, to uh, Marianne, definitely. She's got a few videos out. She's doing better than I am, absolutely. With I, I <laughs> Pre-recorded stuff is so insanely difficult for me. And you did it. And I'm going to try to do it, too. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, that's, that's really awesome. Um, so, and I also think, like, one of those light-changing um, tea lights. Would look really cool in here too like oh i just think it's really it is heavy i will say that you could probably tell it is quite heavy it's a little over two pounds i weighed it before the sale so i, I i'd like to accept this award <laughs> that's what it seems like to me <laughs> okay so i'm going to set that aside uh let's see <laughs> um going to go down a different road. This is going to be a straight price. This is going to be $12. And I'll give you the number after I show them to you for a minute. And I'm not sure what this is, actually, because it has tiger stripes, but it's got a lion's mane. So I'm like, is this what a liger looks like? <laughs> I can't remember. Easier than going live. <laughs> Oddly, I find going live easier. I don't know what I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> so anyway, he is really heavy for his size. He's very stubby. He could he could be a doorstop. I, as a matter of fact, he probably is. He's super cool. Just super cool. He's got a little bitty tail. Um, and I just thought it'd be really, really neat. Like in a safari themed um 
nursery or, or child's bedroom. Like the, the next item I'm about to show you, is, this could look really cool with something like that on the shelf. I just think it's really neat. So anyway, he was $12 and he's number two. $12 number two for the Liger, Tiger, Lion, whatever he is. Somebody did it. It's like felted. I almost want to say it's felted wool, but it's not like full on furry. He's really, and his eyes are there. As you can see the shiny things, there's his eyes. Oh, I like him. <laughs> I may do a an, an exclusively like children's room like like kids sale type of thing because um, I have some interesting things kind of that I'm starting to accumulate that I think would be great so I might do that might bring him back for something like that. I'm just gonna set him aside. And um well yep yeah, the next thing I said I was gonna bring up was this basket and this is starting at fifteen. Uh, And so this is one of those woven baskets. Let me just kind of start right in the middle <laughs> and back away. How it's not focusing on that, I don't know. <laughs> but I'll just back away so you can see the pattern. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much detail. My camera doesn't like it. <laughs> That's funny. That's happened before with a couple other things. It almost reminds me of like a coiled up snake. It's really interesting. So the colors are faded. Let me show you the edges here. It is a faded uh, basket, although this is what happens with these with these baskets in general. Um, but see the other side. Woo! <laughs> That's what the colors were originally. So I mean, you could use it on on this side, and I just think this is a great great basket wall like center piece basket you can you can hang it this way and you can hang it that way <laughs> i thought it was super neat great for um, a fruit basket too but i definitely like the idea of a, of a basket wall yeah i agree it's really you know i don't know a whole lot about these woven baskets but it and i, I don't know it just seemed like a nicer one to me so it appealed to me as well so all righty i'm going to set this aside and move on to a 1973 ten dollar offer okay start <laughs> see i made it harder on myself by making these offer ups but and it is from 1973 it's a pewter pendant and it's just super cool. <laughs> this is going to be fun. There, there. Now, I don't want to presume to know if this is Native American inspired or what part, what area, because I don't know. So I'm not going to um, comment on that because I just don't know, but I just know it's really cool looking. And from the seventies, something like this is just, to me, it's so much cooler finding something like this from the seventies than it is finding something like this from the year 2010. You know, I, I don't know, <laughs> even if you might, it, it's just, oh yeah, I should, I should show that to you. It's Forenza. It's by Forenza. What did I, what year did I say that? I already wrote it down, right? I already forgot. Number 18. Did I say 73? I know I. S yes, it's 73. Or 8. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't have my loop. It's the 70s anyway. <laughs> so I thought it was super neat. And I loved the design and the um, detail in that one. So I'm going to move along and up next, let's see, uh, how about, this is also starting at $10, so I'll just put this on the screen. 
Um, it is an enameled uh, copper, enamel on copper plate. Now, of course, this is near and dear to my heart because it has seagulls on it. This looks like home to me very much. I like the nautical thing, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> and so I, I particularly really like this. I like how the waves were done. There is some wear to the edges. I think this has been around for a while. There's some wear to the paint, but it's not flaking off or anything. And I like the gold up in here too. And then on the back, um, I tried taking a picture. I tried doing a search. It is signed. Thank you. <laughs> it is signed by the artist. Neck. You guys see it? I see like, <laughs> well, the last six letters look like uh, something I shouldn't read out loud. <laughs> oh, gosh. But uh, anyway, that is the signature. So that just appealed to me, the fact that that piece was there and that there was a signature. I just, I was very drawn to this. Um, I love enamel on copper. I always have. Hi, Antique Agenda. Thanks for coming. And this is, you know, we're getting into that nautical, trop not tropical, but nautical kind of seaside season. So I thought it'd be a good time to bring this one up. I'm going to set it aside. And let's see, get rid of that. And where was I? Um, How about a big old dog? <laughs> this is going to be, um, actually, it's a straight price, so... It's a sheep dog. There are no chips or cracks that I could find on him. He is modern. I thought he was really fun. He's a good size guy. The size of my head. If you know anybody with a sheep dog or it's just a little girl's room decor or a little boy, obviously. I just think he's really sweet. And he, they did a nice job with the fur. I don't know if it's a hobbyist piece. I don't see anything signed, but he's going to be $14 and he's number 14. $14, number 14 for the sheep dog. I should do a dog sale too. <laughs> I feel like if I have a, uh, a themed sale, it's, it's, I don't know, it works better for me. So anyway, <laughs> sometimes you accidentally have a theme. When you start pulling things together, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set him aside. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice, you guys. I still uh, I had a throat thing going on uh, last week or so ago, and it's still making my voice a little, little uh, crackly. So up next, I have this is uh, another straight price, and it's this, it's actually probably just a rice bowl, <laughs> but I. I <laughs> I love this dragon. I stinking love this dragon. <laughs> and I like the little, I, I really like the little whatever those are. I like the colors. I just found this bowl. I don't know what this is. I just found this bowl to be so much fun. I don't know what any of that says. But I just... Obviously, I don't, I'd use it for rice. I would just use it for, hi, Tose. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you. Um, and there's the inside. So this is $8 and it's number three. It's $8 number three for the, I, I like him. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? Um, the focus again. I, I just realized why I like him so much. He reminds me of Mushu in Mulan, the Disney movie. That's what it is. <laughs> Because I stink and loved Mushu. <laughs> Anybody's seen that movie? Eddie Murphy does Mushu's voice. Oh my word, it's so funny. So funny. <laughs> Hi, Lena. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Ugh, StreamYard likes to jump. <laughs> so that's $8 at number, what did I say? Number three. I'm going to set him aside. Me too, Kim. It's right. It's like right up there. I really love that one. He's wacky. <laughs> okay. So 
ah, I'm running out of space. I have some smaller things. Um, I don't know if anybody's interested in this. This is another $8. Um, I'll tell you the number in just a second. It's a Toby. I don't know if anybody's into Tobys. I remember growing up, these were things that you sought. But uh, he's just fun. And again, he's a little bit, you know, like you could put him with a patriotic display. He has that look. It actually says fat boy on the back. So I guess that was a certain kind of whatever. I don't know what that means. But he is, let me get it to focus. He's Royal Dalton, fat boy, made in England. And you can see the crazing there and the inside. This actually came from uh, a neighbor's estate. And um, I made it my mission because the family was going to get rid of everything else. And I made it my mission to rescue everything. And this was one of the things. So. I, I like him. He just, he just, he's pleased with himself. <laughs> or he's very relaxed. Oh, oh, did I say how much? $8. I'm sorry, Kathy. $8 and it's number six. I didn't know if I said the number. Sorry, I just started getting chatty on you. Chatty Kathy. <laughs> oh, Kathy, I wish you were here. We could chit chat. <laughs> here, here. I mean, like in, over there. <laughs> Pointing the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> over here there we go oh thank you kathy <laughs> all right let me jot you down uh kathy all right. thank you so much <laughs> i like him i think he's fun <laughs> yes i hope very soon um <clears throat> it's a nickname for one of the original atomic bombs developed in the manhattan project oh oh okay interesting Interesting. All right. So I'm going to put them over there in the sold section. Um, bringing back from a couple weeks ago, this is going to be a um, $12 start. Oh, no, I tried to do a share screen again, guys. There we go. <laughs> you click the wrong thing when your, your cursor's in the wrong place. And what did I say again? Start at 12. Yes, Kathy has a sale leader, so make sure you check her sale out later on. Feel free to put your link in, Kathy, absolutely, by the way. Um, so starting at 12, trying to get the sticker up. All right, got it. I just wanted to give this kitty another chance. Um, it's a dance cat, and he's a sleeping kitty. I really, really like him. I really love the flowers on this. It, it gives that Tanala vibe, but it is not Tanala. But boy, do I really like that. And here's the Dansk logo. Dansk is a wonderful, wonderful company. Uh, thank you. Um, they make quality products. I really, anytime I come across Dansk, I'm like, what is it? And I've had, let's see, I have little white little bud faces that I keep for myself from them. I've seen like wood things from Dansk um, and just, they make quality, quality uh, products. I tend to like things um, that are like from that area. Like I like things from Norway and I like, I like Scandinavian things. So not mistaken Dansk. Now I sound like I'm ignorant because now I'm just thinking Dansk isn't Scandinavian, but I think it is. I think it, <laughs> oh, I need to research this stuff more. I just know what I like. That's kind of how I started my intro to my, my uh, YouTube channel. I was like, I don't claim to know a lot about a lot of things. I know some things about a lot of things. I might know a lot about one particular thing, but I don't know everything about everything. <laughs> so doing my best. <laughs> anyway, I really like this cat and it looks really nice. Um, like setting under a plant or something like that. Really sweet. I picture it under like palm bronze for some reason. But... Okay. So, and did I say his number or I can't remember what I did. Oh, it's an offer up of 12. That's right. Guys, I'm out of, I'm out of swing of things. I haven't had a sale in a while. <laughs> Feels good to be back though. Let me tell you, this is, this is relaxing actually. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to set Kitty aside. I might end up keeping this. 
<laughs> I always say that, but certain things, I don't know. They just, oh, would he look sweet sleeping up there? <laughs> okay. So next, this is another itty bitty and it's, it's a, a straight price. So I will, um, show you, show it to you first. Well, I'll show you, tell you the number. It's, it's a straight price of $6 and I'll tell you the number in a minute. It's just a little salt or pepper shaker, but in the shape of a basket. Really? I mean, very, very basic. This is just made in Japan. It, if it wants to tell you that it does say Japan. <laughs> oh gosh. There you go. So it's literally just a little basket, just a little something I thought I'd toss in the sale just to see. Um, I've been seeing interested in miniatures lately. So I may, um, if this doesn't move today, which I don't think it will, it's going to go in a lot of like littles or something like that eventually. So I am going to set that aside. Sometimes the things that you bring to, to a sale, you think no one's going to want this and then like six people want it. And that, this was one of those things where I was like, I can go either way. Hi, Proud American. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Um, up next, I have, this is an opera up at eight. Let's see. Start at eight. And he's just a little sweet boxer. I always wanted a boxer. I never got one. Um, <laughs> sorry, having a hard time. There. There's Mr. Angry Boxer with his little tag. It says boxer. It's a vintage figurine. Little stubby tail. I really like this. He's he's one of the ones that may end up with me if he doesn't sell instead of going to the booth or anywhere else. <laughs> Here's his underside. And he just he just kind of proudly sits there. I like the idea. Whoops, I like the idea of the these types of guys on a bookshelf next to a dog about that particular a dog next to a book about that particular dog <laughs> or just like in a grouping of other dogs i just think it's really really sweet i've actually come across other dogs before and wanted to just sell them that way but i think people like specific breeds so boxers are really fun he's got some shiny eyes <laughs> Look, oh, stubborn boy. There he goes. He does not look too pleased. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Marmaduke, even though that's not the same breed. All right, I'm going to set him aside. And let's see. Um, give me one second, because I think I've gone through almost everything. Yep, there's only one thing left. This is from actually... <laughs> This is going to be a straight price of $8. Um, let me show it to you. This is from actually the days when I worked at Hallmark. And this is a, well, you could put a tea light in there, but I think they intended for a votive, which is the taller. It's the one that's up above the size of a tea light, basically. And it's this kitty cat looking into a bowl. It's been painted. They all looked different. So, um, but this is when I worked there and I actually bought it for myself because I had so many kitty cat things going on in my bedroom. And he's got his little, little bum hanging off the edge there. <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Thank you. And here he is looking in. So I don't know. It's really fun. He's still got the, you know, it's a Gans by Gans. It actually says votive holder. Year 2000. So it's 22 years old. Wow. Technically vintage, right? Is it? <laughs> anyway, so he is number 13. He's $8 and he's number 13. I just thought he was fun. And again, it's part of my collection, but it's not kind of what I have going anymore. So. 
I know, it does not seem that long ago. I everybody was like but I remember there were like journals that said 2000 and like socks and headbands and like everybody's make a big deal they're scared of the y2k bug wrong bug to be worried about <laughs> anyway I'm gonna set him aside and I think that is everything um let me double check because I, I still feel like I missed something for some reason no I didn't um, I can do a recap if you like. Oh, yes, Jan. Absolutely. I remember as soon as I graduated high school, it just, like, college even flew by. It just, I was like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just quickly do a recap. Um, and you guys can just stop me if you see anything. I'm going to start from the beginning. Uh, I had the Fisher Price uh, starting at $6. A little stove it does work but it doesn't have the salt and pepper so there's that and then i had the wall not the wallpaper the, the gift wrap the vintage gift wrap with wedding wishes and that is five dollars and it's number one five dollars number one for the gift wrap Let's just say i wanted one <laughs> i wanted one growing up <laughs> and i'm just going with what's right next to me here pretty much um, I had the Dragonware, $8 offer up on that one. Whoops. Let's, hey, where'd he go? Where are you, Dragon? Okay. <laughs> I forgot he was over there. The Dragonware was $8 offer up. Just a little picture. There is some some uh, loss of uh, material there. That's the other side. Hi, Jane. Thanks for coming. And like I said, just, you know, scream out, you know, Dragonware or something to stop me if you see anything. This was a $10 offer up, a pendant from the 19, it's either 1973 or 78. My eyes will not let me see. How tall is it? It is. Um, with the spout kind of leaning up, it's, it's four and a half inches. If you don't count the spout part, it's about four. So this makes the four and a half. <laughs> so if that helps or not with the size. For that um and then we had uh, the 70s pendant ten dollar offer up on that one i'm not going to presume to know where specifically this is from but ten dollar offer up on that and then we had our interesting clown by ron lee he's a known artist um and he's usually these are usually standing on some piece of crystal or something oh jan thank you um okay let me write you down and that was eight dollars um uh, it was a offer up but since there's no interest i'm just going to say go ahead and then say sold really quick um and thank you for sending your info i appreciate that just make sure i jot this down in the right spot my handwriting is awful there it is jan Great. thank you Okay, make sure I was caught up. <laughs> this was, uh, like I said, by an artist called Ron Lee. Um, these, uh, and he was a $8 offer up. And he is quite heavy and is an interesting little clown. N less clowny and more like, you know what I mean? He's just kind of like the sad clown. <laughs> Instead of the one with a big heart, big party hat and things like that. The bomb is worth that, man. So, sorry. And so I'm going to set him aside. He's so cool. Um, and then we had this bowl that was $10 offer up. It's it's studio pottery. I was saying it would make a great little bowl for your cat water. It's cat's water because it looks like there's a little fish swimming around in the bottom. That was $10 offer up on that. There's a big drip there, uh, but I like it. And it is signed. It is signed on the bottom. So I'm going to set that aside. Move on to the fun Dragon Bowl. This was $8. Offer up on that one. With the Mushu Dragon, as I could call it. And the other interesting creature. I don't know what it is, but I love the colors in this bowl. Love it. 
And then we had the um, salt marsh pottery. This was $10 off up on the thistle. There's a hanger on the back. <clears throat> and then we had, we are, this was kind of recent, but so $8 off or up on the boxer. He's just near me, so I just grabbed him again. $8 off or up on the boxer figurine. And then we had the George Briard Bowl, $12 off or up on that. It is signed right there. Hard to see, but it has the Jacobian flowers. Again, if you guys need me to stop or slow down or show you something better, I definitely will. I just want to just want to get through everything. <laughs> and then we had the $16 offer up on a large glass cat with the two fish in the bellies. Bellies and belly. And he's a big guy. Bye, Kim. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you being here. And then we had the Costa Boda. $16 offer up, which does have a chip on it in the back. Um, and that's the candle holder and a sunflower pattern, which is kind of interesting, I thought. Costa Boda is expensive. Well, not expensive, but not, not that easy to come by usually. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then I had the little um, $8 offer up on the top hat. Hey, Nikki, thanks for coming. And again, I was thinking this would be great to stick a little, um, the 4th of July, or I'm sorry, the flag toothpicks in. Be great on your, like, your uh, your picnic table with, with toothpicks in it or whatever, or anything else, really. It'd be really, really cute on your tablescape. So, and that was, I'm sorry, that was an $8 offer up on that one. And we had the, quote, fairy lamp. <laughs> it was a $10 offer up. How much was the Costa Boda? Oh, let me back up and put this back down. Sorry about that. That was a $16 offer up on the Costa Boda. And again, I want to make sure that um, you know that there is a chip here. It's very hard to see. I, I just felt it. Um, and I can definitely do some more filing down on that and also put a piece of tape on it just to signify where that spot is. But very not noticeable. <laughs> very not noticeable. So that was 16. And I'm going to set it back from now. Um, make sure I'm staying caught up here. I think I am. Okay. So this is a $10 offer up on the little birds, sweet little birds. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> I love Costa Boda. It's like ice, ice sculptures. And so, yeah, we have all the little birds in the little holes and what you can call it a fairy lamp, but I don't, it's, you know, it's a candle dome type of thing. And there is one flower that has an issue with one of the petals there. So that was that one. Let's see. Um, the owls. I don't think I did the owls. Oh, I just noticed a big chip in one of his wings, though. Hmm. Well, I'm going to knock these down to $5 straight price, number nine, $5 straight price, number nine for the pair, because I didn't see this big old, big old chip <laughs> in the wing. Oh, yes, Jane. I agree. I need to get a light box. I really do. That's my next Amazon order. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I think they're really fun, really derpy. You know, they've seen some things. Great for Halloween. Great for your woodland great for your anthropomorphic even with these eyeballs on these guys. So, oh, Kathy, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, let me jot you down. Uh, number nine, Kathy, $8. And I know I said offer up, but three, two, one sold. <laughs> there we go. Thank you again, Kathy. <laughs> All right, so what did I not cover? Uh, again, okay, so this was a $10 offer up, um, enamel on copper, signed, whoops, sorry, signed, can't really make it out, but it is signed, copper looks pretty cool, actually, I left you on in the back, oh, yeah, <laughs> awesome, thank you, um, and, and the paint has somewhere, 
But again, as a main girl, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely, ugh, I love this. <laughs> Makes me feel like home, you know. Um, so that was $10 off wrap on that. And I also love enamel on copper. I, I love a little bit of everything, I think, <laughs> like all of us, right? And then we had the little basket that was $6, number four, just a Japan salt or pepper shaker in the shape of a basket. But I think I'm going to add this to a mystery box type of dealie with, with smalls in it. So I'll set that aside, unless somebody's interested today, of course. And then we had the Liger or whatever it is, $12 number two, I think. Yeah, $12 number two. If anybody is interested in him, he is heavy. He could be a doorstop. He is stitched. I believe this is felted wool. Um, I, I, he does have eyes. I think he's really fun. And I, I prefer this. I don't know. I never had kids. But if, if I had, I think I'd want like these natural like looking. I don't know. I think I'd be like too themey as a parent probably. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Thanks for coming. But I don't know. I just really like the idea of a themed nursery or a themed bedroom. It just, I know I liked it growing up, seeing like strawberry shortcake bedrooms or something. So it's just appealing to me. Okay. So, um, shoot. Oh, the basket. The basket. This was starting at, this was starting at 15. Um, I don't know if I got a measurement. Did I ever get a measurement, you guys? It's, it's 12 inches across in diameter. Um, and it's one of those woven baskets. Um, I don't know if I said bye to Jane already, but bye again. <laughs> My brain's kind of going down the get get these shown road here. And the other side is dramatically a different color, but you could show it, you could hang and show either side. Great for a basket wall. Goes with a lot of colors. So there's that. And the sheepdog, who was $14, number 14. He's modern, but I thought he was fun. $14, number 14 for this guy. I think that might be about it. Um, I, I think I just haven't shown the thing that I showed last, which was the the little kitty in the bowl. <laughs> this was from, from Hallmark by Gans. And you put your votive light candle in there. So that was him, and he was $8, number 13. Eight dollars number thirteen on that guy. I do believe that was everything. I think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm glad to be. Oh, hi, Mad Zabinga. Is a seventies? Yes, it is. And this was uh, a ten dollar starting at ten, and it was number eighteen. I can just do a straight price of ten for number eighteen. If you're interested. I did clean him, but it looks like he needs some more polishing. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. Thank you so much. Number 18. I'm just going to say sold. There we go. Um, and that was number 18. $10. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. So thank you guys for coming. Um, I have been, like I said, out of the loop. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I've been out of the loop for a while here with, um, we had some construction and then I wasn't, I had some sort of throat thing that wasn't, thankfully it turned out to be nothing. Um, but I was miserable for about three, at least three days. I did my best to sleep it off, which helped and drink water. <laughs> um, and then we've just had like noisiness outside and uh, so I, it feels really good to be back in the swing of things. Oh, the basket. Okay. Hit the brakes. <laughs> and that was $6 number four. Alrighty. I'll say sold. <laughs> um, number four, $6 treasures Marianne okay thank you so much 
appreciate that. It's great seeing you too, Jose. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, and I apologize um, if I am. <laughs> um, is it Jose or Jose or Jose? I might even be saying it completely wrong both ways. <laughs> I think I've heard um, Steph pronounce it pronounce your name Jose. So, uh, but I don't want to be saying it wrong if I am. <laughs> So, I, yeah, so it's been great being back. Um, I'm a lot more relaxed than I was expecting to be. I was expecting to be, well, I was nervous because it's been a while. Oh, the woven one. Oh, oh, er, sorry about that. Okay. See, I've been on a loop. All right. Let me back that out. Erase that. The woven one. All right. Let's see. And that was number 17 so sort we're still yeah we're still gonna say sold jose okay thank you <laughs> all right um that's number 17 and we had 15 dollars, and that was all in the attic sorry about that a basket i just thought basket <laughs> too funny Thank you so much, Chicago lady. Appreciate that. And thank you for the clarification, Marianne. <laughs> Sometimes our brains don't <laughs> think of the same things. It's kind of funny. And I need to put the little basket back because that did not sell. <laughs> okay. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. Got that cleared up. Good, good, good. Um, so yeah, it's been great to be back. I felt kind of out of the loop and even putting this sale together, I'm like, are they going to want any of this? So, <laughs> uh, it's great to see you guys and um, check out the sales that are coming later today. Um, please send me your information um, if you haven't already, just so that I can invoice you and get that out to you Monday, as, if, you know, as soon as possible. Um, let's see, we have um, Claudia should be having a sale today. Kathy is having a uh, Claudia K Vintage, Kathy Picasso Cat. Um, Chapter two, vintage, chapter two Vintage Company, Alex and Aaron should be having a sale later. Um, Cricket Harrington is probably having one right now. And there are plenty more on Thursdays. And for some reason, my mind is blanking. Um, Marianne, I'm not sure if I do. If you, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and resend it, you can. Um, yeah, offhand, I'm, I'm not sure, unfortunately. Well, you know what? Give me one second. Let me see if I um, go to, because um, I can't remember if I've sold to you or not. Um, but if I go to create a label and your name comes up. Okay, no, nope, I don't have your information because your name would have come up. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. <laughs> I was a little scared at the beginning because I got I was really late in promoting the sale and all that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great evening. Get out there and get some sun if you can. Uh, I know I'm going to try to. I think I'm going to go for a little walk after this and just get some fresh air and some sunshine. Um, and, and I will see you guys. Well, I'm not doing the Chatty Cathy's for now, only because... Uh, my neighbors have very strong hearing and that late at night is just, it's, it's a dangerous thing to do. I don't want to upset them. Um, if I can find another place that I can do the Chatty Cathy's at, I'm going to try to do that um, because I miss it very much. <laughs> um, I very much miss my Kathy, <laughs> the other Kathy. So uh, that's it for the evening. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to our upcoming sales. I do have some awesome sales coming up with some great people. Um, Bridget, the Baker's Daughters LLC was coming up uh, next month. I will be doing a sale with Yvonne Thrifty Rich very soon. If I'm not mistaken, the week after this. It's soon. It's within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> um, I believe it's not this week, but next. So keep an eye out for those sales. Um, I think that's it so far. There are, again, a couple of more people who I've been talking to for quite a while 
um, to try to get a sale going in the works. So I'm going to uh, uh, reach out to them again and um, see if we can, can't pick a day. So <laughs> that's about it for me. Um, and I will see you guys next week. <laughs> and I uh, hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys in the chats. Bye, guys.